मैथमेटिक्स क्लास एट्थ चैप्टर फोर एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट वन प्रैक्टिकल जोमेट्री प्रश्न नंबर फर्स्ट कंस्ट्रक्ट द फॉलोइंग क्वाड्रिलेटरल्स फर्स्ट पार्ट इज वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल नेम्ड एज ए बी सी डी वेयर वी आर गिवन सर्टन मेजरमेंट्स इन सच टाइप ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन क्वेश्चन वी हैव लर्न इन दिस एक्सरसाइज that a figure can be constructed if we are given certain information this time we are given five measurements so let's try to understand that how we solve such type of practical geometry questions we have learned in this exercise before constructing any part of the construction it is best practice to construct a rough sketch that's why we have termed it as step 0 that is it is the foremost initial step that you must take before trying your hands on compasses and a ruler in construction questions we must have these things pair of compasses these are called pair of compasses this is called ruler straight edge whatever you want to call it remember we are not using protractor in this exercise all the construction need to be done by these two gadgets only it's a best practice to use a sharp pencil also we would like to tell you that in order to learn these construction steps you must first understand what we are doing in each step and then pause and then try to construct by your own again when you are done with step number first move to step number second and then again pause and try to do it in this manner you will understand the concept very well rather than watching it and not practicing with this idea let's try to construct a quadrilateral abcd most of us gets puzzled that how to draw this rough sketch well it is very easy we have to remember two concepts first step is quadrilateral will always be named in cyclic manner either clockwise or anti clockwise before constructing our rough sketch we must know that what dimensions are given to us whether these are sides or diagonals this can be found by this very simple method first of all we have ab so it is a continuous vertex ab then bc again continuous cd again continuous ad it is again continuous because ad can also be written as da that is da that is it is following a circle this simply means all continuous vertices are sides whereas if you observe ac ac is not continuous there is a jump from a to c ignoring b or if you take it in opposite manner ca again ca cannot be reached directly we are missing in between vertex this indirectly means that this particular line segment is a diagonal because diagonals always connects opposite vertices because these are not continuous vertices given to us that means these are diagonals so we know from this question we are given four line segments or the sides and one diagonal and we have learned very well in this exercise that if we are given four sides and diagonals we can successfully construct a unique quadrilateral with this we first of all form rough sketch because it helps us in constructing actual figure with real measurements using our ruler and pair of compasses so let's first of all try to construct a diagonal again we must tell you here that you can construct any line segment it is not necessarily the diagonal first you may choose to draw ab but we chose to draw diagonal first that is ac so it is 7 cm we just took our ruler and assumed the length to be 7 cm that is we did not use actual measurement we just used it for a straight edge you can also draw it free handedly that would not give us a good figure so we used a ruler remember these are not actual measurements we are just drawing a rough sketch so we named a and c as 7 cm this is done now we know very well if these are a and c so this point can either be b or d so we are using anti clockwise direction therefore b will come here a b c and d will come here we then try to find measurement of ab well it is given to us as 4.5 cm so we again used our ruler and approximately marked it here and wrote it b over here as our vertex and this measurement is 4.5 cm 
we are continuously writing vertex as well as measurement because this will eventually help us in drawing actual figure. Now it is just a matter to connect B and C and its measurement is given to us as 5.5 centimeter. So we did the same using our ruler. Again, we are telling you, you can use your free hand, but that will be a zigzag picture. With the help of ruler, the picture looks good. Then we need to connect CD and its dimension is given to us as four centimeter. And finally, we can connect AD whose measurement is given to us six centimeter. So we have represented all four sides measurements as well diagonal measurement. We need not to connect this one because it is not asked in the question. With this, our step number zero is completed, which is our rough sketch. With this drawing, it becomes clear that we have successfully created quadrilateral ABCD. Now it is just a matter to construct the actual quadrilateral ABCD using actual measurements. This idea is not new to you. You have constructed such figures using ruler and pair of compasses in your previous standard as well. Now we shall not look at this information because we have successfully created quadrilateral ABCD. So whichever seems easy to us first of all, we shall try to construct that particular line segment. So AC seems easy. So we used our ruler and draw line segment of measurement seven centimeter. This time we will use the actual measurements of the ruler. So construct a line segment and name its vertices as A and C. That will be our step number first. Before moving to step number two, we would like to tell you certain things. We will repeatedly use adjust your compasses. That will mean you have to put your needle at the initial point of this ruler and open the pencil side to the desired length. This will mean adjusting your compasses. So now we will adjust our compasses at a distance of 4.5 centimeter. That will mean we will put our needle at the initial point of ruler and open the pencil side at a distance of 4.5 centimeter and we will not change it. We will pick it up and put the needle at point A and draw an arc like this. So this will be the area that will be swept by this arc. We use arc concept because arc is a radius and you know very well radius is equidistant. That is the only reason of using pair of compasses. With this arc constructed, now you will readjust your compasses at a distance of 5.5 centimeter. This time, put your needle over here and draw an arc like this. So this green color will be the area that will be swept under this arc. So this is the common area which is swept by these both arcs. This is just for the demonstration purpose. You do not have to do such things. Only small amount of arc will solve the purpose that you know very well from your previous standard. This is not a new concept for you. It is just a revision. Now coming to the third step, we just join this vertex B from A and C using our ruler. That is this line denotes the joining of vertex B from A and C. Coming to step number four, you erase all your arcs and you just leave the line segments. So we have constructed this triangle of this quadrilateral. Now we just have to construct upper triangle. Well, for that, you adjust your pair of compasses at a distance of six centimeter and put the needle over here and draw this arc like this. As you learn the step, pause it and try to do it and then resume to learn the next step. Again, after you have constructed this arc, adjust your pair of compasses at a distance of four centimeter because we are taking this distance from C. Therefore, you have to put your needle this time here and draw an arc in such a way that it crosses the previous arc. That is the whole purpose of creating arcs. You have to cross another arc that you previously constructed. So wherever they intersect, that will be your point. This time it is point D and then it is just a matter to connect this point D with a and C using your ruler. So which we did here and in last step, we simply erase all the arcs and make it tidy. By tidy, we mean we name all the vertices that is vertices A, B, C and D in anti-clockwise manner as we did in our rough sketch. And always remember to put the measurements with units. This is seven centimeter, five centimeter, four centimeter, six centimeter and 4.5 centimeter. 
Therefore, in actual, we need four components. Sharpened pencil, pair of compasses in which you fix your pencil, eraser to rub and make the work tidy, and a ruler or the straight edge. So you see how easily we constructed it. The only tricky part is to understand which information is given to us that we can find using cyclicity of the given figure. And second important step is to construct a rough sketch prior diving into the real construction with actual measurements. This can be done free-handedly, but that will not give you a neat diagram. So try to use your ruler while constructing rough sketch without measurement, just an idea. And with the help of your rough sketch, try to construct the actual figure with actual measurements using your gadgets. So what we learn after this construction? We learned a very important concept. If we are given measurement of four sides and measurement of a diagonal, then we can construct a unique quadrilateral. With this, we have successfully constructed a quadrilateral ABCD and that completes our first part of question number first.